Welcome to the Wolf Chase Toyota Insider of the Memphis Tiger Network. I'm Jeff Fry with alongside Hayden Perez. Coach, you come off a weekend where you, you went all the way from South Florida all the way up to up north to Minneapolis to play uh, Minnesota and Missouri. Not a bad trip the week before. I know you got rained out of one of your matches. You did pick up the win, but you go up there and you get both matches in. Nice split. Yeah, it was funny. We were in the airport and, and talking to somebody, and they said, you just came. They, they recognized it, and they said, you just came from Florida. And I said, well, you know, we, we got a match rained out, but we're guaranteed to play indoors <laughs> up, up in Minnesota. So we, we got both matches in up there. Um, you know, the Florida trip, it, it was a bummer not to, to get the FAU match in. Uh, we're still working with them, actually, right now to, to possibly reschedule that. Um, but the FIU win was huge. Um, anytime you have a team right now this time of the year for us playing a lot indoors to go outside uh, that's a big transition in, in your game and to play to beat them at home you know they, they get a lot of, of uh, teams that come down there and play in, in their own backyard and um, that was a, that was a real significant and good win for us so we we're definitely proud of that uh, and then moving on to Minnesota, you know, that one was was a little disappointing for us. Uh, we felt like we could go 2-0 in mm -hmm. that weekend. And uh, Minnesota played very well that day, and a lot of credit to them. Uh, the girls, we did recognize some things we need to work on. So, um, you know, back to the drawing board with, with some of that. Uh, but I like the way they responded, you know, with Missouri the next day. Oh, it's so nice to get a split against uh, when you play the same week in uh, Big Ten and SEC. Yeah, absolutely. You know, again, our schedule is lined with some of those. And, and so Minnesota, uh, a good Big Ten team, much improved from, from last year. Um, you know, they were, they were very tough. Um, and then Missouri, I think that's our first time. We've been doing it a few years mm -hmm. with that triangle with those teams. And that was our first time to, to get them. Uh, and it came down to the wire. It was a 4-3 match, as we, as we expected. It was 4-3 the year before. Um, and we came out on top this year. So, so really proud of the girls. Well, back on the road, as it is a lot here in, the, in these next couple of seasons, you're going to go down to Denton, Texas. Uh, you got a weekend set. You're going to play USF, a, a team that's in your league on Friday, and then the host school, North Texas, on Saturday. Yes, we've been we've been doing the, the North Texas thing now for, for, I think, the entire five years I, I've been here. So they're always uh, a tough team. Uh, I think we've traded the last two years. We, we beat them at home. They beat us at home. Uh, so we're going back there and, and hoping for you know, a good match against them. Uh, USF poses a, definitely a really tough, they're a tough team in our conference. Uh, traditionally, you know, top uh, top four in our conference. So we can't overlook them. They're, they're first. Uh, again, this is an, they're an outdoor team, and, and we should be outdoors looking at the forecast there. And so uh, it's going to pose some challenges, but, but we're looking forward to it. Just kind of like life on the road th this season and probably a little bit of next season, you will have a couple more home matches in March. Yeah, we're excited. You know, right now my, my uh, suitcase just stays right by my bed. I don't, don't really unpack too much. Um, but we are looking forward to already, you know, the end of March, we've got two matches in, in Xavier and Cincinnati at home. Uh, again, two tough programs, um, two coaches that, that Ryan and I are, are good friends with, and, and we just agree to play every year because they're always tough and, and they're good guys. And so we're excited about that. You know, it's, it's at the end of March. Uh, it's a little, little ways out there. we got some business to take care of beforehand, um, but we're definitely looking to you know, forward to that. How, how's the team holding up mentally with the aspect of, look, here's the situation we're, on, we're in right now, having to be on the road a lot. It's going to benefit you a little bit and really the future of the program, maybe the athletes after you to have to be on the road a little bit while left, which is, is being... Put sure, down. yeah, we, basically we've talked to them, we've addressed it with them. I think the other day we, we mentioned, hey, this is a you know second consecutive road trip, we're gonna have a few scenarios like that this year, um, and kind of play the under underdog role. Yeah. You know, just said, look, you, you guys have it tough. This is some adversity that you have to overcome uh, and you have to be prepared. You know, we're talking about little things from taking taking care of all the small things like you know having balance in your life making sure you're taking care of your academics making sure you're taking care of all the things that you need because sometimes you're in town for just you know three or yeah. four days and then you're on the road again and so they've embraced it um, I think they're doing great so far um, we're about halfway through so we'll, we'll see how we finish um, but definitely I think the girls are, are adjusting well all right thanks a lot coach you bet. thank you that is Hayden Perez I'm Jeff Brightwell with the Wolf Cage Toyota Insider the Memphis Tiger Network <laughs> Thank you.